most of the software you install with your package manager is going to be a tagged release. It's going to be something like Firefox 100, Alacrity 0.10.1, NeoVim 0.7.0, and the vast majority of the time, it is just going to be a packaged version of the developer's code. But with the exception of a project that's at its final version, let's say the project is done, or for whatever reason the developer just wants to abandon it, most of the time development isn't stopping with that latest tagged release. And usually what you're going to see, especially on the larger projects, is there's going to be a lot of patches that are being worked on that for whatever reason didn't make that current release. Let's say the patch is not done yet, or it just doesn't fit the general theme of this release. So if you start exploring pretty much any reasonably sized project, you're going to notice there's a lot of things like work in progress, draft, and unreviewed patches, along with there being extra branches like the development branch or the work in progress branch or feature branches and things like that. Maybe at one point, a lot of these changes are going to make their way into a actual version release, but right now the developers consider that these things are not ready for the regular user to be using. But not everybody agrees that this is the way that software should be packaged. Sometimes you'll see a Linux distribution ship, let's say, version 1 of Foo. And instead of actually shipping version 1, what it is, is version 1 with some extra patches applied to it. Some of those work in progress, some of those draft and unreviewed patches. So what this is, is effectively a fork of the project, but isn't being labeled as a fork of the project. And this open letter recently came out basically saying to stop doing that. Please do not ship work in progress to users, an open letter from developers to the wider Linux community. Now they want to make something clear and I want to make something very clear as well. This is not being aimed at individual users, this is aimed at distribution shipping developers patches without consulting them first, breaking the intended user experience of upstream. This letter is not aimed at tinkerers playing with their own setup. So let's say you download a terminal, let's say Alacrity for example, and it works really well, but you notice in the pull request, you notice in the patches, that there's this patch that would really, really change the way that you use the application and really improve your workflow. Well, if you want to go and take that patch and then compile the application yourself and merge it into your own personal version, that's totally fine. Go ahead and do so because you know what you're doing. You have actively decided to step out of the intended developer experience. But the distributions, what they should be offering is the software the developers made and the way the developers intended for it to be used. From the perspective of the developer, you want your users to have a stable, consistent experience. As an overall idea, your project may still be a work in progress. But when you release, say, version 1, version 1.1, version 2, so on and so forth, you know what features are supposed to be in that version, and you know what you're supposed to be getting by using that version. So if someone comes to you with, say, a bug report, or they want to get some user support, for example, and they say they are on version 1, if they are not really on version 1, they are on version 1 with all of these extra patches on it, there's not really any productive way to actually handle that bug report because what's breaking with it may not actually have anything to do with your actual version one it may be some of these extra patches and then for the users you want to make sure they're getting a fair perception of the project sure it might not actually be in a really good state it might have some actual legitimate issues but those are issues that are totally fair if it's the fault of the developer sure absolutely fine. But if it's an extra patch that wasn't supposed to be added that the packager just wanted to add themselves, it's something they wanted to remove, things like that, that's not something that you as the dev can fix, but you're still probably going to be blamed for it. My favorite example of this, if you've seen my channel before, you know exactly what I'm going to say, it is OBS on Arch Linux. So OBS on Linux isn't in the same state it's in over on the Windows side. There are certainly features that are missing, which would be really nice to see, but those are features that are actually missing. On Arch Linux though, the browser embed is missing. This lets you embed things like your chat and stream alerts and things like that. This isn't a fault of the OBS team. It is entirely the fault of the Arch Linux team for not packaging it correctly but all of the complaints are directed at OBS. 
Because why would the user think any different? When you install OBS on Arch, it says it's version, let's say, version 27.1.0. Not 27.1.0 Arch Linux or give you some indication that this isn't the intended developer experience, this is the modified Arch experience. Or how about you look at some forum posts from 2007-2008 about the rollout of Pulse Audio. At that point, Pulse Audio should not have been shipped as a default on distros. It was not ready yet, it was close to ready, but it certainly wasn't. And a lot of the distros that were shipping it were shipping it with broken configs. So it looked like the project was so much worse than it actually was, but it was entirely the fault of the distros. But that doesn't mean that a distro should never ship patches that aren't a part of a tagged release. As they say here, we ask respectfully to consult with developers before shipping anything outside of a tag release to the end users. There are absolute cases like backporting patches for security and bugs, and they say, we thank all distribution package maintainers for backporting patches that improve security, fix bugs, etc., who coordinate with upstream. Oftentimes this means creating or pulling patches to fix issues with inactive, abandoned, or unresponsive upstream projects. These distribution package maintainers are doing a tremendous job, and their work is not the subject of this letter. So the subject of this letter isn't patches that are already well tested that don't actually change the feature set of the application. They're fixing some exploit that might be there, they're fixing some bug, things like that. This letter is about pulling in patches that change things that actually affect the user in maybe not some negative way, but affect the user in some way that misaligns the project with what the developers expect to be there for the project. But when a distro does want to make these changes, make sure you consult the developers, consult the maintainers to make sure they're aware of this change actually occurring. So if someone comes to them with a bug report or a user support request, things like that, and they say, I am using this version on this distro, you actually have an understanding of what they are saying and why this might not align with the regular tag release. Say, for example, you're working on a new API or making some major change to an existing API. Let's say, for example, you're working on global shortcuts with Wayland, doing that through XDG portals. Right now, the way it works is a work in progress. It's a draft. It is very highly subject to change. The way it works now, there is no guarantee that a week from now it's going to be the same, a month from now it's going to be the same, a year from now it's going to be the same. Nobody really knows exactly how it's going to function. But let's say it's in a state where it does actually function to some extent, but it's still a draft. If distros decided, hey, we just like the way it works right now, we are going to start shipping this version, and then software starts getting built around that being the way it functions, there is no guarantee that when the stable version of the API comes out, that any of that existing software is even going to remotely function. And that's basically what they don't want distros causing. Now, I mentioned individual users at the start. On your personal system, you are free to do whatever you want. And if you know what you're doing, they actually encourage you to go and do so. If an end user is informed and wants to test patches without broadly distributing them to others, that's fine with us. We certainly want to encourage end users and distributions to test patches and report their findings. This helps developers find and fix bugs and increases confidence that their work won't cause issues for users. Now, when they say distributions to test patches, what they mean is the distribution maintainers to test them personally or putting them into places like your development repos or your testing repos, things like Debian Unstable, for example. Not the place where regular people are going to be using that system. If you're using the testing repos, then you should be someone who understands the risks they are taking on. This also helps ensure information end up in the right place. So if you're testing a patch that hasn't been merged yet, the upstream merge request rather than the distribution's bug tracker, forum, and or social media. If a distribution wish to ship unreleased or work in progress patches, we believe it should be opt-in, even better, avoided entirely. I believe by opt-in here, they are referring to things like your testing repos and things like that. The end user must understand, rather than being on the cutting edge, they are in uncharted territory and should expect things to break. 
packaging unfinished work and shipping it to users who have not explicitly consented is unacceptable. I think one place that could really improve this is with the AUR. So as someone who has read the Arch Wiki, I know that something that is marked as a dash git package is usually going to be the latest commit on the repo, and usually that's going to be ahead of the latest tag release. But the AUR website, at least from my understanding from where I've seen on it, doesn't make it clear what the different naming conventions in the repo actually mean. Now the AUR is certainly a weird exception, you probably shouldn't be using it unless you know what you're doing, but when just talking about regular package repos, uninformed users basically get the worst of it. They get what is potentially broken software or software that just doesn't work in the way the developers intended for it to work, and then devs who are basically unwilling or unable to help with any problems that, you know, you may come across because that's not supposed to be in that version. We don't even know what is being compiled into it. If you're a distribution that ships developers unreleased patches, please reconsider this decision. Shipping unreviewed patches to your users is reckless. It unfairly exposes your users to potential issues, waste time, and may give the patches developer or active upstream project a bad reputation. It discourages developers from working on new features publicly, something we care about a lot in the free and open source software community. It also frustrates developers, and in some cases, cause developers to stop supporting a distribution altogether. In this scenario, the end user gets the worst of both worlds, a broken distribution and developers who are unwilling to help. But if you think you need to ship a patch right away, please reach out. There might be cases where a merge request looks like it's fixing an issue your users are seeing and you want to get it shipped to them as soon as possible. If this is the case, please reach out to the developers to discuss how you can help to ship it as soon as possible to your users. Right now, this is still a fairly small open letter. I will leave it linked in the description down below. I highly recommend you go and read it for yourself. And if you're a developer who agrees with the cause that's going on here and you want to put your name behind it, go ahead and do so. I fully encourage you to do that. So let me know if you're a developer and you have any thoughts about this, whether, you know, distro should be shipping your unreleased patches or they shouldn't be, whatever you think about it, I would love to hear it. And if you're not a developer and you're just a regular user, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it as well. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out my Patreon, subscribe, and bear pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.